<laughs> hey yo guys, what is up? It's Royko here, back again with another video. We got our name approved. I was kind of half surprised that they accepted my name. I wasn't sure if they were really going to accept it, even though I guess technically the name is whitelisted, which is nice, or at least it, I assume it's still whitelisted. Let's see what the tasks are for today. We got four cell bots anywhere for gag training. How are you guys doing today, though? It's been it's been a hot, steamy minute. It's probably been about a week, week and a half since I recorded the first part, and I really appreciate everybody like commenting in and just letting me know what your thoughts are on a new series and everything. I've actually thought a good amount in general just about what series I'm gonna try to redo or re not necessarily redo, but try to. I can't think of a better word. I mean, just redo. Like I thought a lot about Wiz. Me and Rang were talking about restarting the wizard 101 series and i thought that that would be pretty dope the only thing is is it's like it just sucks man it sucks especially with fucking wiz because i haven't been through the whole game so i've got to do all these worlds over again and it fucking tilts me to oblivion man but what can you do you know you get all, you get your fucking youtube hacked and then shit just hits the fan all the way around Cellbots, i want to say are here but I think I'm fucking dead wrong. I think it might actually be on Punchline Place that they might be. I feel like this is all 25% around or something. Whereas, maybe it's higher in that other street that I was just looking at. Dude, that's the one thing. Street percentages, I don't know if they've stuck really well. Especially since going to private servers sometimes too. Yeah, this is all 25% across the board. I want to go... So I actually got that right in my head, but... The real question is, was I right about the other street having higher sell bot and cash bot? I wanna, I wanna sprint. I, I press shift to sprint, but it's, it's like a slow walk. Don't appreciate that one. Let's check the fucking pop, dude. Let's see how bumping this game is. 3,780. It's a little bit low from what I've seen, but, uh, it is during the weekdays, so it's probably not absolutely bumping. I, I, recently I've seen it a lot at like 4k, which is fucking insane, dude. I swear, there is a point when I thought that this was tapering off to nothingness, and it was like, I feel like 1k players or something like that, and I was like, man... Not only was I bored of the game at that time, I was just playing it to record it. I wasn't really having as much fun, so. Now it's definitely more so. I'm not gonna record it if I'm not feeling it, you know what I mean? If if it feels, like, super inauthentic, I'm gonna take a fucking chill. And I hope you guys, like, understand. And if you don't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, you know? It's nothing against you guys. I just don't want to be an inauthentic little fucking prick playing this game if... If I'm not going to be having fun with it too, you know? That's the, the toughest thing about fucking YouTube and grinding out fucking 290 parts of a series. Like I did with the Toontario Written series. 291, I think it might have been before the uh, channel got hacked. So we got some guys running all around here, but nobody's helping me out, dude. They don't give a fuck about me. I, I might stall this one out, dude. So I was thinking of who I should bring onto the series almost, and I was thinking the first person I was going to bring is probably Draftlore, uh, Andrew, one of my good buddies. He was one of the first people that I really started uh, recording this with, for specifically for the series, that I still am in real contact with or whatever, that I would like to put in first. I feel like that would be a really interesting one. I don't even know if he will watch this video and on top of it I don't know if he would even be down in the first place but the second person is obviously is Ryan he's the one who edits my stoof along with he was the one who he, he's been recording with me a shit ton just a lot of series dude these guys are literally gonna let me die I'm gonna throw because I feel like if I don't I don't feel like squirt is gonna do enough damage finally somebody's gripping like helping me out dude Jesus gripping the feather He's got me. King Frizzy Crinkle Flap, dude, I appreciate you. Hit me up with that big tune-up. You rock, man. You absolutely rock. With all this, like, COVID shit going on, too, it, it really, uh... It really... It's nice to see, like, people do little, small, good things. And that's what I fear that people aren't uh, sharing enough of. And I feel that people like to share and they like to bring to the surface all of the negative. But it's important to, to keep in mind there's tons of neutral and positive stuff too. It just may not be put to the forefront. For me, the, the easiest way I can describe it is just like stuff for work on my 9 to 5. It's like I try to help people 
and I, I try my hardest to not be a fucking dick when I can, you know? I mean, it's not always possible, but I try to be nice to people. I try to make their day a little bit easier. I don't make it an absolute pain in the ass. That's my goal, you know? While also, of course, being productive and doing my thing. Like King Frizzy Crinkle Flat, man, he's the perfect example of this. You wanna know why? Because uh, nobody else wanted to help me out here. I was about to get my asshole greened up, but he came in like the uh, like the absolute king he is, man, and uh, is, is healing me and helping me with this with this impossible task for my level, man. Defeat four cell bots, impossible. And I'm fighting a boss bot, dude. I'm literally not even progressing in this task. I'm I'm literally stupid, dude. Why am I doing this? King Frizzy, I would totally tune you up, man, if I had tune up, but sadly, it is, uh, it's not there. It's not in the cards, and for that reason, I'm out, man. He's a 26 laugher, absolute juicer, just throws out the Sizzler bottle. That's a throwback from when Ryan didn't know how to say it's seltzer. Bet you he'll love that one. Love seeing that one, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you got the pencil pusher shooting his head out. Hate to see it. We got the new squirt gag, boys, already. Episode 2. Wow, dude, we are progressing like crazy. Absolute mad lads. I can't believe we did it. I can't believe it's not butter. Okay. Well, we got one of our cell bots done. We are almost out. No, we're not out of gags. We're at, like, halfway. We're at the halfway point. Oh, dude, come on, miss. I, I wanted him to miss just so I could... Oh, my God, and he ran away. And this one's dead. There's, there's really just no cogs to kill here. Cash bot there. We got is that a cell bot level one that's calling my absolute name, brother. Hell yeah. Finally, uh, it's scrub. Will it defeat him in one hit? Absolutely not. We're gonna go for the squirt. See if this guy teams up with us. He's got uh he's a little bit obese. He's a little bit, he's a little thick, but we'll, we'll let him on in. He's got some cool shades. I don't fat shame. He's got the alien shades on, dude. This doesn't even look like it's a part of this goddamn game. And we got a short change cash bot coming in. I actually made an account, like, within this. Uh, his name's Big Mac. And I might actually just be playing that for fun or streaming it. If you guys would like to see... Dude, okay, the Glock fucking hit him, dude. It 100% hits you. You can't act like you dodged it, man. You're soaking fucking wet. Okay, but I, to get back onto the track of what I was saying before, I was thinking that I was going to, uh, like, either stream or partially just play for fun this Big Mac account. If you'd like to see me stream on Twitch with it, let me know. I mean, it's really, I really cannot promise a schedule, especially, and I cannot promise the reliability of it like I could with a more so series where it's, it's much easier to plan for me. For me, streaming is always something that if I put a schedule to it, as sad as it sounds, it turns into borderline work for me. And I never want that to be the case for streaming, right? At least at this time, you know, who knows what the fuck could happen in like two years or something. Who knows? But what I'm saying now is I don't find it fun when I make a schedule. So when I'm feeling it and I feel like I can stream or whatever and I feel like it'd be a, it'd be a good time, I'll go ahead and pop on Twitch or something. We're probably going to get one task done this entire fucking run. That's how bad I am at tasking on this game. Oh, we're at nine. We're almost at the level two throw. Oh, we got another scrub rolling on in, dude. Hell yeah. It's a copy-paste. Please. I was hoping more of you would keep pooping out of that uh, elevator door there. Or that that sketchy side door that is always open, but you can't see past it. I always find that interesting. You'd think that they'd just be able to use the elevator. Like, they could just poop out of the elevator. Why wouldn't they, you know? Why are they using all these uh, side entrances? Aren't a lot of them at the top of the building? Are they taking a, a secret elevator? I, dude, I don't know, man. This is some Illuminati shit to me. All right, we're going back to Flippy. I'm gonna buy some gags. Definitely need to buy some gags. Go to the Toon Hall playground. Yo, you know what I'm curious of? Do we still have our friend? Judge Ruby, Dino Whip, is absolutely juicing, man. Last seen 12 days ago, I don't even care. 26 laugh, dude. He's beating my scrub ass, that's for sure. It's heckling him all that time for the tune memory game, but let it be known, this dude is grinding. 26 laugh takes a bit to get to, man. Especially if you're not sweating it like I, uh, I have definitely not been doing. Soaked up all that lore, and we got Honey Haha -ha on the laughing place on Silly Street we gotta go to. I might, uh, actually go slower on this to see if they got some dank jokes. Otherwise, I'm gonna be out. Fuck, I'm gonna have to play a game, though, man. I don't have, I don't have the coin for this. Is there anybody I can trolley troll? 
No, looks like the only person we're trolley trolling is ourselves. Let's get it, gamers. Cannon game? Just don't give me tune memory game, I swear. Okay, jungle vines, I can accept. I can accept for today. You have to, like, kill yourself to get some of these bananas, dude. You literally have to die to perfect this. Or is that even considered perfect, then? The worst for this game is when you get the spider and the bat, and then you get stuck on the top part, and then you die to the, you die to the bat, and then the spider comes up and kills you again. So it's just like a complete time burner. That was the biggest trigger that this could provide. It'd be nice, too, if you could jump between. Like, you could jump two vines at once, save some time. That'd be an, that'd be an epic meta to add. Two entire written, I'm looking at you, man. You're the, uh... You're the creative ones, right? So you guys could release all this new content for us. We'll make a little thing of flame TTR enough for today. You know, I don't need this, but I'm gonna help my help my homie out, Lady Twinkleton. Maybe we could do a Oh, okay, 53. 53 left. Maybe did not need as much help as I was expecting, but you know, Bloodsucker Lob at level two. You could get like COVID or something off of the bite, dude. I don't fucking know. It's a stretch, but I'm gonna go for it to make me seem like a better person at this time. I'm so used to shifting, or like, sprinting in the other games. So now I just feel like I'm moving, like, negative speed right now. I feel like I'm actually going backwards. Okay, throw and squirt are great, but you're gonna need more gags to fight those higher level cogs. When you team up with other tunes against the cogs, you can combine your gags for even more giggles. Try different combinations of gags to see what works best. To start you off, you can choose between sound and tune-up. Sound is special. When it hits, it damages all cogs rather than this. I, I'm not laughing. This is shitty. The laughing place. Come on, bruh. Trash. Absolute fucking trash. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm gonna get sound, dude. Did I get sound first the last time? Maybe I should switch it up. I feel like sound is most useful, man. It's it's so meta, all right. Don't fucking tell Smirky, man. But it's it's way better, all right. I'm going. I'm probably gonna go fucking blurless again, dude. Let's be real. Lure ain't shit, brothers. Lure ain't shit. How do you say lure? Do you say lore or do you say lure? I say lure. Hang on a minute. I can't just give you the gags. Didn't Flippy tell you about training? No, I don't care. If you don't tell me good jokes, I don't care. All right, Professor Pete. We're getting that one point laugh boost coming in. Thanks for nothing, honey. Haha, ha. your jokes are fucking trash. Go home. Stay home. All right. Didn't mean to hurt honey's feelings. It's too bad there, but jokes are trash. The only uh, people laughing at honey haha's ha laughing place are people at her because their jokes are trash, man. What do we got? We got a party coming on here, huh? We got a party that we can go to? Wow, dude. I don't have 100 beans to start this party. Dude's got the highest flex in all the land of the giant crown that's probably worth like fucking 20k beans. See, I'm a simple man. I've got no shoes. Somehow I've got gloves but no shoes. That to me doesn't make too much sense. So, I is that was that a level 3 or a level 2? Yeah, it's a level 3, dude. I'm going to get fucking raped by that guy. I'm not taking that. Level 2 is already stretching it, man. Unless I got some some help from my boy, good old... No, that's not good old Jelly Roll. That's Coral Deer. But Coral Deer is sniping him, dude. He has no fear in his... No fear in his eyes. I don't know what his laugh is, but holy shit, man. He's juicing him with a high level throw. Level 3, never before seen uh, on Royko's side. All right, Coral Deer. I got some brass. I'm stepping in. Holy shit, man. Toxic, toxic, toxic gamer, dude. Stinky. Hey! Stinky. Don't be mean. You stink. Whoa, bruh. Let me say, Stinky, that's not very toony, man. See, I'm not even trying to be mean, man. This Coral Deer, what is your deal? Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Sorry, my friends list is full. Decimated. You can't be my friend. All right, Coral Deer, you're done, kid. Hello. Welcome to Toontown. Is there anything else I could say? I could say, uh... One of my favorites way back in the day is, I'd say, Nice Skirt. Is it a girl tune? I like your skirt. What do we got? What do we got on it? We got somebody coming out of the doors at the FBI? No, it's Jiggle Tune. Thought I was gonna, gonna get arrested for cyberbullying there. You are a genius. Alright, what, what can we do? Would you like some help? Because you sure need it! Holy shit, man, he's done. 
No, I think I found a bug. Sorry, I can't understand you. Dude, we're starting to flame war. Sorry, dude. I'm busy gardening. I'm Rico the gardener. I'm trying to make sure bugs like you are out of my out of my fucking area, man. <laughs> Got him. Flaming with speed chat, dude. That's that's a hard task. You're really limited on what you can do. Reminds me of way, 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 way back in the day, dude. There are people who just were toxic as shit on this game through speed chat only. And it was mainly just through the... You know what I'm saying? Just through the stinky options. I don't know why I fought this level 1, dude. It's not a level 2. I need level 2s. So why am I doing it? Dottie Riddle Bumble, I will help you out at the cost of a measly 5 beans. Oh my gosh, Sleep Blue Cat. I didn't realize they were coming in. Absolutely griefed, man. I'm toxic. Sorry. Hopefully there's another ass you can eat on the other side there. Oh my gosh, going to the Toon headquarters to report us. You hate to fucking see it, dude. I plead the fifth on that one, man. Oh uh, man, this is such a fucking hard choice. Which one do I do, man? Oh my god, I, I am just so... I just cannot decide. It's so hard to pick. There's just so many options, dude. So many options to what I can do. Got three guys coming in here. I'm, like, scared of this dude. I think I got an outfit change and a name change. He's gonna flame me again, man. Don't worry, though. I waited for everybody to get into the fight. I'm not an absolute cuck. Oh, dude, I love this. I love this angle. We we get Groot covering the whole fucking battle scene. Well, I mean, Groot, you gonna fucking do anything? You're just gonna sit there, man. Come on, bruh. Ruining this camera angle. Oh, mama. We got Big Poppy here. Big Poppy. Come on, brother. Wait till I get in. Hell yeah. Big fucking pog, dude. Big fucking pog. I'll throw out the water to get this thing started. Alright, you got any squirt, buddy? Big poppy. Alright, you're saying hi to yourself? No? Okay. Guy teleporting in. We got another guy teleporting in. Big poppy's got some big fucking friends, man. He rolls fucking deep. Holy shit, man. He's got two goobers spawning on him right off the bat. We got apricot crocodile and tan duck. Dudes don't even have names yet. They're just popping out of the womb. Big poppy rolls deep let it be known first i thought he was just talking to himself in the fucking third person dude little did i know he's got a full fucking squad on his hands i swear if i wouldn't have joined he probably would have had another five join trying to get in that spot big poppy the absolute mad lad or right, well, that's an easy dub dude i i kind of want to add you big poppy because you got some you got some friends dude Are we done with our our thing here i think we are this means oh okay not recovered oh ho oh, oh, okay not 100% drop rate. I guess the squad, Big Poppy squad, decided to siphon one of my gears. Absolute mad lads. All right, Big Poppy, where are we heading to, man? You're clearly the mafia leader here. All right, right into the right into the wall. Perfect, Big Poppy. I'm following you, man. I'm just a simple man. All right, we're popping in, popping in with my boy, Big Poppy. Oh, dude. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit suspicious. Okay, we got we got two people popping in with Big Poppy. And I'm feeling that this might be a multi-tune scenario, but I kind of like it going under the guise that he just has an entire mafia at his disposal. I think that that's a more fun approach. I feel that uh, multi-tuning's a little bit scuffed, but nothing uh, super against it as long as you're not being a dick about it, you know? Like me, I guess. So Big Poppy and the squad, I might just try to avoid from now on, even though it's easy fucking cheese, dude. I'm surprised he doesn't have four. Like, he's already doing the work, I feel like. You might as well just make it four. But maybe I'm already a part of this collective gang and he thinks that I'm, uh, I'm just one of his pawns, you know? Who knows? Illuminati confirmed. All right, Big Poppy. It's, yeah, it's, it's a little bit suspect that you're the only one going to your sticker book after that. Oh, we got another one. And then immediately after it goes to Apricot Crocodile. It's a, it's a guaranteed bot right there. It's a bot situation. You hate to see it. Another gear siphoned as well. We, we are just fresh out of gears right now. We need one more, but we've killed, like, fucking two dudes, got none. Interesting take. I don't want to fight the level three because I do not have many good gags left. We got two level ones here. Can we find a level two? Looks like some empty streets. Perfect. Just what we need. We got a bottom feeder level one coming up that we do not need at all. We got a flunky level two. Cold car level two. Okay. So, this is the plan. I'm going to let them uh, zoom on past each other so I don't make them both go away. And then that way I can sniggity snipe one. Not cause the other to go away. That should be good distance. Hit him with that back. 
bump him with my ass a little bit. Get the party started. Throw him with a level two. We got uh, we got the other dude around the other way if we really are desperate and this guy doesn't have any gears either. Oh, we got another guy coming in, it looks like. Hopefully he flies away because he's a level one fucking scumbag. Nope, he's coming in to help his uh, flunky brother in, and it looks like we are outnumbered here. We are going to get greened by the worst cog in Toontown. You really fucking hate to see it, man. You really do, okay? We're at six laugh, all right? If I miss this one, I'm fucked. If I hit this one, I'm still probably fucked. We're gonna try for it, dude. We're gonna roll those fucking dice, all right? Because we're not scared of some fucking shitty flunkies. All right, we kill, the, we kill the level two. That's the important part. Hopefully this flunky throws a shitty tie at us and it deals one damage. That's our goal. Because I don't know if this thing can deal five. So we got a clip on tie, exactly what I hoped. And on top of that, he missed because he's fucking trash. Okay, awesome. Now we got, we got some shitty score to use on him. If there's another cog that joins, we are actually scuffed. Flunky level one, dude. Easy clap. All right. You can't hit me with six damage. That's a clip on tie. That's one damage. Coming in. Hot and heavy. All right. Another flunky. Okay. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Are you fucking kidding me? Another fucking flunky. Dude, is this big poppy in disguise? Are you mad that I was making fun of your multi-tunes? Please tell me. Please. All right. So that's another flunky we have to deal with. I don't know what their max damage is, but if it's five, I will cry if I lose to another level one flunky like this. Okay. We got three gags. We are running low. We are on survival mode. Four damage. I think we just gotta do one more of these squirts, and he is out for the count. Clip on tight. Does another one damage. Not too worried about it, but if he hits me with something else, I don't know, man. We may just be fucked. Alright, we got one... Okay. Another flunky almost comes in, alright? I was about to lose my fucking shit, dude. That is so, uh, completely unbalanced game, dude. That I was about to get a fourth flunky just rolling up on here like it's fucking nothing. Dude, get the fuck out of your pencil pusher. If you come in here, dude, I am screwed. I've got one gag. Alright, we got out of here. We got the cog gear. That's the most important thing, dude. We were damn close of getting our first time being greened, alright? I am a green tune, but I am not getting fucking green, dude. Mark my fucking words, dude. I will never get greened. Ever. Alright? Let me tell you right now, it'll never happen. Impossible. A cog invasion has begun. What are we looking at, man? Some Mr. Hollywoods, dude? Easy fucking clap, dude. Corporate Raiders even easier. Oh my god, dude. It's so fucking... It's so fucking easy. Alright, we're going to Toontown Schoolhouse, get some laugh. And then we're going back to the fucking trolley, dude. Because we are uh, just about out of beans again. Now we gotta go to HQ officer. Because I guess he can't go walk his lazy ass to the HQ officer himself. Okay. Thinking. Like, dude, it's like 20 steps, alright? Quarantine's got him in a funk too, man. He's a lazy piece of shit. Let's go deliver his mail. Let's go be his mail delivery boy. Alright, laugh limit increased by one. At least we got it completed. There wasn't anything else attached to it. So we got Looney Lewis for a medium pouch 25. We desperately need that shit, dude. We are running out of gags just fighting some shitty flunkies. So you you know we need that bag upgrade. Another five is really going to help us a lot here. So it looks like Looney Lewis is actually looking pretty ill. He may actually have a COVID-19. Uh, by the look of his, like, bill, I think it's called... Uh, fuck, dude, I don't even know. Is it called the bill? I think it is, uh, is completely discolored. It looks like he is on the verge of death. So I'm hoping that this is just a bad picture, a bad black and white picture. It's not his actual profile. That's what you can really hope for in this. So I completely did not realize that I am out of beans yet again. Need to go to the trolley before I talk to this goober. And hopefully uh, he just took a bad Tinder profile picture because Looney Lewis is looking like uh, I'm about to be the Grim Reaper coming up to his door just to fucking murder him. Alright, nobody to trolley troll, so we are going by ourselves. And, of course, it is one of my least favorite games of all time next to the Toon Memory game. It's the shitty catching game. About to get two fucking beans for perfecting this. Come on, this is a perfect. Watch. Perfect, and it gives me 15 beans, dude. I know this... I know this too well, man. I know this too fucking well. 15. 14, okay. Well, I'm at 15 beans. Close enough, dude. Silly Street is where we need to go to visit our Looney Lewis in the, uh, probably medical facilities in where he is literally about to get the plug pulled on him because he's so fucking old and sickly. All right, we got some corporate raiders, too. Uh, some pretty easy ones here. Level 7. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, you know, I'd probably fight it, but I don't think I'll get any gag XP just because, you know, solo leveled, man. I wonder if anybody's actually fighting these fuckers here. Oh, we got one coming down. Almost just smushed me. 
Okay, look, we got we got some goobers here. I feel like now is the time to get our first corporate raider kill. Okay, there's two of them. There is a good chance I'm gonna die now. Okay, well I try to do it quickly so we wouldn't have to fight the conjoined twins all at once. Like goddamn, dude, these things are crazy, dude. I can't wait to see the show. Hope the surgery goes well, uh, corporate raiders. All right, well we got one. That's good. That's all in dandy. But I'm I'm not 100% sure on this, but he could one-shot me. Power tie, I don't think it would do it. 10, okay. Lily Nickel Flip can take that and just shake it off. I would, I would be shaking in my boots, man. All right, hell yeah. Squirt, dude. Let's get it going. We got a pass here. Absolute green or rainbow giggle glow. Just trying to feed. Corporator got knocked back. He was running through the sidewalk. He was so upset. All right, we got more goobers coming in too, man. It is just hot and heavy with these fat thick corporate raiders all right hell yeah dude we are absolutely juicing right now we need that gag xp i feel like it'd be stupid for me not to fight another one but i also need to get this fucking task started i'm just happy we got one on our kill list here so now it actually shows up on our uh on our cog like chart i always liked uh cog gallery that's what it's called so now it counts that i killed two even though i definitely did not do shit in the grand scheme Oh shit, dude. Can we get this going? Can we get this going? Hell yeah. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I almost just griefed, dude. I almost just fucking griefed. I almost just threw when everybody else squirted. This guy's flying away. He does not want to deal with the ambush that just happened to this poor single corporate raider. Play hardball. Lily Nickel Flip just taking another one for the team like an absolute legend. Can we try to throw this time, boys? Okay, another squirt coming in. That's a great teamwork moment. Rainbow Giggle Pow just, uh, again, just not doing anything. Just a clear lackey for the team, man. Either that or out of gags. Hell yeah, dude. We are getting absolutely juiced from this, man. I'm not even working for this shit. I want to keep fighting them, but I want to get this task started, too. I feel like I'm wasting it. Oh my gosh, use clown cars, man. I remember visiting this guy before. I feel like his task was AIDS. It's been a bit, though. It's been a bit. Let's see how bad the task is. Yowza. I can't find the tires. Oh my god. I fucking hate this shit, dude. I got a fish. Do I even have the beans for this? Are you freaking kidding me? I got ten. Alright, you got Fisherman Billy over here. Alright. Let's see if we can catch some tires. Alright, let's talk to... Let's talk to Clown Cars for a little bit longer, and then I'm probably going to cap this episode. It's been a long one, but I think that Ryan may edit a lot of it out anyways. Fan flying tastic. Now I can get this old Clown Car on the road again. Hmm, I swear I had a air pump around here to get these tires a pop, and maybe Lucy Tires borrowed it. Mind if getting it for me? I don't even know what kind of fucking accent I got from this, but Lucy Tires looks as grim as Looney Lewis. They really got something wrong with their portraits here. It's like, it's like right before they die. A portrait of right before their death. So crack up auto repair loopy lane is where you gotta go for this next task. I hope you guys did enjoy this little video. If you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out the playlist for this. I'll leave a playlist link in the description. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see more Toontown Rewritten Let's Play videos. Because I enjoy making them. I can't promise that I'll make them at a stupid rate like I did before. But I'll promise that every time I'll have fun with it and I'll do what I do. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Try to be nice to somebody near you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out. Peace.